Alright, so we're back again and welcome to JRLA Extreme League Season 7, which is obviously just our league style format of AIDS fucking games and AIDS mode, which can cause carnage and cause a lot of fun and rage to come from it. Um, we've originally done, well, we've been progressing in terms of numbers for a long time now. However, in this video specifically, there's only going to be eight of us again. The reason why that is, we've now got two leagues. We've got Extreme Shield, which also will be out. Um, we'll follow the premiere if you're watching the premiere on this. Um, but the, the video of the shield will be out as well. There's two leagues. There's one eight-man mode which, uh, league, which we focus on now. And the shield will be a separate video, which is a six-man league. And all sorts of promotion and stuff like that can happen. It's a very interesting concept. I quite enjoy it. So um, the league is as it follows. You can see that eight people was actually the top, I think, five or six from, from last season. Plus a couple other people at Harini who have come in uh, for promotion. So this is the eight-man league. And obviously the same, you can see how the table kind of works. Um, the top three going to Super League, obviously first wins. Uh, sixth and seventh going to playoff matches for relegation. And eighth goes directly down. We also still have our promotion playoffs, which will come in the Shield video. So you want to see what promotion happens and what happens with the playoffs. All that will be in the Shield video. So uh, stick around for this if you want to see obviously what happened in the league this season. Um, we know what the modes are. Those that don't, you'll get the hang of them very quickly. We've also kind of combined, um, messed about with that a little bit as well. Um, the fixtures aren't the same as they used to be. Put it that way. So the, the, the order doesn't exist anymore. It's completely random depending on what modes we get as well. So obviously there's 12 modes across seven matches. So there's going to be some that will be in shield and some that will only be in league. So, uh, but before we get into that, if you're going to buy anything from this game today, make sure you get it from rocketprices.com. The link's in the description. You can pretty much get anything you want from this place that's in or has been in this game for a cheaper price that you find elsewhere or from the game itself. Made it even cheaper with a 6% off code JET at checkout. You see how it goes. Obviously, you'll get the hang of it. Those that haven't watched it so far, if you want to go and watch the other ones, I suggest you do so. Um, last season would be a best representation of what's happened uh, or what will happen. Obviously, we do have our winner. Uh, from last season, King Divock in the league again, um, so that's good to have him back because he missed out the last few tournaments or so. So it's good to have him back, and let's see what happens this season. I want to get myself back on that league title. I haven't done, haven't done so for a couple of seasons. Uh, let's see what happens this time. So, welcome to the all new mode, fucking Puck Chaser. Those mutators for you. Kind, as you see, on this fucking map as well. Of course I get Mr. Fucking Season 7 winner, or Season 6 winner even, uh, King Divock in the first game. Of course. In the brand new mode, and he goes one up in 10 seconds. That is literally what I don't need to start this fucking league off. I can't believe that. But this is a brand new mode. I do break myself, because obviously I do make the mode, and this, we've leveled it up. I do find myself, when I've been practicing, well, not practicing, but, you know, making the mode up, um, I do find myself quite good at it. The people I challenge as almost a test game. Um, Default was one of them, and I won quite convincingly in that game. So um, I hope I can carry that over to this one and just start the league off with a fucking win because we're going to need it. Especially against someone like Divock. This is a chance. <laughs> I've just... How do you miss that? How do you miss that? It's so hard to read when the, the puck's travelling like that. It's so hard to read where it's going to bounce. What can I do here? Smash it across. See, it's such a chaotic mode. It's just continuously boosting. Finally, we've got the second goal. Love that. We're now 2-1. Come on. That free one. Yes, it is. We're playing very well. As I said, we need to, especially this new mode. He's going to catch him off guard because not many. Well, I haven't played that many games in it to be fair, but everyone would have played one or two maximum. He's going to catch a lot of people off guard this new mode. I'm so glad it's here, especially against Divock in the first fucking game. It could be four. It should be four. We're four one up. Jesus Christ, this game is chaotic as fuck. So many calls to start with. To five. Oh my god, we are flying. We are absolutely flying this first game. We had to be as well because we can't start off slow. In an eight-man league, you cannot lose many games if you want to try and win it. Especially against, as I said, one of the probably title contenders is Divock. Cannot be losing to him. He just scored though. Yeah. He caught me off guard there. I shouldn't have tried challenging that. This game's not over. We've seen how quick, easy it is to score quick goals. We cannot take a foot off here. We need to absolutely just keep being relentless. I don't know what he's doing. Speed flipping in this mode. No chance. Oh my god, I'm fucking bottling it. I'm bottling it. I told you it's not over yet. He's starting to get used to it more. It's 5-3 now. 
six three. This is chaos. This is the most chaotic game mode I've ever fucking seen. It just fits right into League perfectly. Everything that epitomizes League, this fucking game mode just <laughs> it just makes it better. It is the literal <laughs> epitome of League. It's just chaos all fucking game. What's name are you doing? Fuck me. This is gonna go right down to the wire, I think. Obviously I've got a two gold cushion, but when I went four or five one up, I was thinking sure this is game over. I think I've let him back into it here. Until I'm making seven. This is ridiculous. This is pissing both of us off, I think. I'm not surprised. It is absolute carnage. Not another one? That's a very good goal. I've got to give him that one. He's slowly rolled it over this little ledge here. And he's got round and finished it. Fair play, it's a very good fucking finish. And this game, can it get any more chaotic than this? I don't know how many times I've said it now, but this is just carnage. I can't keep my head forced together because I don't even know what to do. Please just fucking go in. Oh my god. If I lose this game or drop point, if I draw this game or don't win this game after that, I'm going to be fuming. It's 7-6. I swear to God, if I bottle this, I, s I can't keep myself together here. 35 seconds left of absolute chaos. Oh my God, I bottled it. I fucking bottled it. I was 5-1 up, man. I was fucking 5-1 up. It's 7 Fucking seven. What is going on? I, I cannot believe this, man. What have I done? He's shorting me. Oh my fucking god. I was 5 1 up. I was 5 1 up. And he's brought it back to fucking 7 8. Nah. Fuck that. Unbelievable. What the fuck have I just witnessed in the first fucking game? That killed me. I'm finished now. That's completely and utterly killed me. I'm not winning this league after that. You cannot come back for something like that. That is ridiculous. What have I just fucking watched? So that is our first match they've done, of course, Puck Chase. This is our new kind of system, as you'll see. These are the results that happened. Some very crazy games in Puck Chase. Our arch getting battered. Super and Leon drawing and Kate got off, off the mark as well. This is our new hub that I was speaking about. This is the new kind of fixture hub. We'll now go back into the table, which will now be updated. As you can see, I find myself in the bottom three. But kicking pro starting very strongly. Um, Arch and Harani are struggling. They had to get some points to the ball, as, as, as will I probably. But uh, back out we go and into game number two, which will reveal what the game mode is. And of course, it's Floor Destroyer. So the second game then, me versus Arch, uh, very good player as well, and I'm sure you can imagine that is the common theme throughout this league now, everyone's good. You have to just play well every game at this point and hope you can just get as many points on the board as possible because you don't get many games, you only get seven games to actually prove yourself. So I'm typically very good at this mode, I can see I've got one them up already, it's a bit of a mistake from him, but I'm typically very very good at this mode, so I should really be winning this. It's a game I probably need to win as well to keep myself going uh, towards that top of the table. Um, I, I, I really think I will do. If I just play well, which I, if I play like I, I know I can, we'll win this game. Four Destroyer is an interesting game mode though, because I don't know if, you, if any of you haven't seen it before, as you can see the ball just fucking dips up and down high gravity. Once you get them in their half, uh, they struggle to get out as Arch is finding out at the minute. He's struggling to get out. He's not had any, any damage on my side yet. I'm just keeping him until I miss the ball. And he misses it again. But I miss it again. We're all missing it. What's going on? It's got to be 2 0. Surely it's got to be 2 0. It is. I've been absolutely all over him. Look at that. 71 to 1 bit of damage. He's getting absolutely destroyed at the minute. I'm playing the way I said I know I could. And I, I told you if I do play that way, I will win the game. So we need to keep this going. <laughs> it's just like the way he just gave up when he saw I was going to dribble it in. 3 0. 
He's done three bits of damage on my side. We are absolutely battering him here. I'm just not going to. I'm not going to show any mercy either because goal influence could be important. Keep his goals flowing. I've just been playing with him. He's, oh my god! This is bullying. That is just absolute bully. I'm just dribbling it around him, trying to get up to the ultra damage. I ain't gonna get it. I ain't scored. I guess he hasn't scored, but I almost deserved that for, for being a prick, just fucking knocking it around him for half an hour. Just score. I don't know how he hasn't scored. To be fair, he, he's been unlucky with those bounces. If I can keep a clean sheet in this game, though, it's very hard to do. You know, I just want to make it four 0 we have played so well. If we carry on this way in every game mode, Leon's joined the spam what to save it. If I carry on this way in every game mode, we're going to be flying because I'm playing very well here. I'm playing the mode really well. It's not just about being quick and being consistent. You need to know the mode and how to do it. And I guess it does help that I know the modes and made the modes, but we have still got to put it off. And people are good at some modes. And he's, he's generally been good at this one over the years. So the years, the seasons, the years I'm thinking of. But he has scored. Oh my god, Arch, for God's sake, man. <laughs> How has that got in? What, <laughs> what has he done here? I don't know even what he's done. He just completely flipped past the ball. He's just obviously bounced in and got in. 5-1, what a result. Well, he's not finished yet, but 5-1, incredible. We can just see this out. It'd be great. Finish the game off 5-1. Don't let him get another goal. He's not going to. Great result, that is 5-1. A win on the board. Lovely stuff. So I'm sure you used this now as a big, big win for me. I needed that. Some draws knocking about again. Cake and Leon draw in Super Ed and Kicking Pro draw. That means both Super Ed and Leon have drawn both their first two games. Kicking King Devok win again, of course he does. And uh, I'll go again. Into the new table we will go. And this will show where I'm at now. And I'm at now. And this is how it goes. The King Devok the only one with two out of two. Orion Arch still struggling. As you can see, Leon, Super Ed, herself, Cake and Kicking Pro. Very tight in that mid table area. It's going to be very interesting going to these next few games. This next game for me is massive. I need another win get myself up the top of the table. So can we make it two in a row with another win here against Hermione in Balloon Balls? The first time obviously played against Hermione in League um, and obviously he joined this season so he won't be as experienced as the other people in these modes but he's looked by no means a bad player. You would have seen he's a decent player enough as it is so far so let's see if we can get goal here potentially no we have things with balloon ball when you hit stuff like that you have to fucking get back as soon as you can because you know full well he's going straight towards your goal i've genuinely thought i let him score there i probably probably shouldn't have gone for the boost get an open goal yeah well obviously i've been running through each mode as we go along just for those who don't know balloon ball is very aged you can see already how it's going to be aged the ball swerves and floats in the air you've got low gravity it's just really light really flimsy fucking ball it just flies everywhere it's very hard to read the ball um, and you'll probably see that as time goes on that could go in that's unlucky. It's very hard to score as well because you hit it, think it's going to go in, and it just fucking flies away from there. But you can also have the opposite. You can also hit for something that like, looks like it's going wide and it curve in. It's a very, very strange game and it's a very risky one. See, look, that could curve in. Watch that. Watch that. See what I'm saying? That's a perfect angle of how the ball curves. That was very satisfying to watch as well. Look at the absolute swerve on this. <laughs> He's confused what the fuck just happened. But that is balloon ball summed up. Good things in blue, but once you do take the lead, you can be very passive. You must let them hit stuff that's making it like the ball float towards their net. Oh, that's unlucky. That's going to go in my net, though, isn't it? It really is. He's hit the post. And he's missed. Oh, my God. I've got away with that. That's really bad for me. Really, really poor for me, that. And I've missed again. See how hard it is actually fucking shoot. What a save that is. What a fucking save that is. He spammed Holy Cow after that. Incredible save.
as I said, you can be passive. You can let them go for stuff. You can just defend, sit in, and let them hit the ball to you. Because the carrot attacks are what kill you in this game, mode. Because you have to get back so quickly because the ball just fucking flies. They can curve in where you don't want to curve it. So all I've got to do is just keep hitting it, defending well. Which I am doing. It's actually quite easy to defend in this game, mode Because it's very hard to get kind of powerful shots from distance. Right. So you've got to let them kind of do that. Oh my fucking god. It helps if he does that. Let's put it that way. If he's going to do that and help me out, you can... <laughs> nice shot. Nice one. Thank you. And how... <laughs> how in the fuck, or whatever it's meant to say, are you defending those? Like, how? Um, you just got to be patient. That's all I'd say. Be patient. Let the ball just fucking bounce. Let it do its thing. It's going to fucking ping up in the air anyway. I didn't even mean that. Okay. I think this has been a prime example of this game of having experience in the mode has been so important because be free to here. You know, he's probably been the better player in terms of the game, but because I've been so experienced in the mode and know exactly what to do and how to play it, I've won 3 0 quite comfortably in the end. I made one very good save, but the rest of it was quite straightforward and obviously he helped me out my own goal, but that's the worst mode ever, he says. It is very frustrating, as I said, he probably has played better actually across the game, but just, I've taken my chance, I've played well, I've defended well, which is kind of the key thing in this mode. Don't let them get bullshit goals like I did. And a big win that is, we need to keep winning. So another big win for us, one we probably didn't deserve, but a big win. Uh, King Devil with a massive game against Super, he did win. Kicking Pro just about his cake, as you would have seen in that, in that clip. Leon got his first win, Archie's still struggling, I do worry for him now. Three games in and he's still on no points, he's still rooted to the bottom of the table. As you'll see now, he's refreshes. I have got myself back into that top three where I probably belong. Hermione and Art are still struggling. It's going to be a battle between them two. Super is still sick. He's struggling as well. He's not got any wins yet out of three. So his next game will be massive for everyone. But it is, of course, a bouncy drop shot. Right. Can we continue our little win streak we got going on here? We need to win some more games. Obviously, we've not started the best so far. Well, we don't. Obviously the first game we're never going to be that much, you know, in contention for the title. Because losing a game is one thing, losing to someone you're challenging with is another. You can't be losing a game like this, you can't be starting a game like this either. It's done awfully here. So as far as starts go, it's not been great at all, this. I've been absolutely dog shit. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm usually really good at drop shot, this bouncy drop shot mode. I've been horrendous. I can't seem to get any damage. That's going to go in my own fucking net nearly. I don't really know what I'm playing at. I'm just playing absolutely awfully. I need to get way more damage than I have been because I'm in massive trouble if I don't. And I'm on a doubt. I don't know what I said. I deserve to be what I said. I have been fucking awful. This season, I have been shite. The first game I've bottled, won the next two. Yeah, fair enough. But the way I've been playing in them has not been anywhere near good enough. And this game is another example of a game where I need to fucking win. I'm pissing about at the start of the game, fucking losing damage straight away. Let's get this one goal. You know what? We've got a bit of hole on my side. Which is a very risky hole to have. But when things like this happen, maybe it's a turn of events. Back level now, come on, we can still win this game. I don't believe what I've just seen. I, I do not for a second. I just don't for a second believe what I've just watched. How does this fucking happen? How does this bounce in the very fucking hole that I have? I've lost this and I've lost the fucking league. There's no way I'm coming back. You can't lose two games. And a game like this where I've now got fucking no chance really of winning, what the fuck am I gonna do? I've just been fucking wank this. I've not deserved to win this game. I can't even fucking complain. I've been fucking awful. Absolutely dog shit. That should have gone in though. And I fucking needed that to go in because I've got no chance. I'm not going to win this. I just take the take a draw at this fucking point. Please. F 
Thank fucking God that one didn't bounce out. If he scores in his next 13 seconds though, best believe someone's getting smashed in this room because I just need to take this point and run. I cannot be losing in this game. If I have any hope of the title, this is a massive, massive last 13 seconds because if I fucking blow this, I've got no chance. Well, we take the draw. I shouldn't have drawn that game. If I wasn't so fucking shit, we might have maybe won. But uh, you know what? I'll take a point from how badly I've played. But I think that might be season over for me, to be fair. So, unfortunately, I think that might have killed my title hopes. If King Divot win again, Arch and Harani both losing again. A kicking pro with one nil win, which you don't see too often. Them two, King Kicking Pro and King Divot, will be battling now at the top of the table, I think. And Arch and Harani will be battling at the bottom. We'll see that very shortly when we go into the table, of course. I've now got myself back out, uh, back, still still into third even, I thought I'd back out of the top three. But Arch and Ryan, as you can see, struggling both, and one of them will be relegated, no doubt about that. Kicking Pro and King Devil will be fighting out for the title. Next game is huge for me. You'll see why in a second of who I'm playing against. And it's a massive game between us usually, so let's see what happens. So it's a massive, massive game that I probably pretty much do need to win here. We started straight off, it's not even been a second, look, five minutes still in the clock. And we're one up already. We need this. We really need to win because, you know, obviously not winning the last game. We've already dropped about five points already. We just cannot be dropping that many points. But you can divot looks stupidly strong. We just win every game from here and hope for the best. It's not even just about winning the title anymore. It's about getting top three, getting Super League. I can't not I can't defend my Super League crown if I'm not in the fucking thing. I need to get top three for that. Is that my own goal? I, I, don't, I hate when it does this because I never know where to be. Fucking brilliant. I, I told you, I hate it when it fucking does that. When he bounces back and forth in between everyone two, but he always ends up in mine. I don't know how to stop it. Oh, please, don't do him score an own goal. Please tell me he scored an own goal. Oh my god, it's chaos. As I said, here we go again. Look, it's going to end up in my net somehow here. I just know it. taking a fucking piss. I can't even do anything about that. You can't <laughs> save them goals. When it bounces off the corner and fucking flies in, you cannot fucking save it. It's so annoying. Now I'm behind in the game. As I said, I really need to fucking win, so please. Brilliant. Well, I've got to fucking lose this, and I? This is fucking ridiculous. I, I Honestly, this game mode sometimes can really be fucking irritating, because what can you do sometimes? Seriously, I don't know how you even made to defend some of this because you just you just cannot get anywhere near the ball. Please, I need it. I need it. I need it. Thank you. It is complete fluke. I thought he'd scored a score and made it 4-1, but back in the game now. Jesus Christ, that's so fluky. What He's throwing well. I'm not surprised. What an absolute fluke this is. Look, he just smashes it into me. He pings off me and goes in. To be fair, for top three, as long as I don't lose another game. I should be okay. If I can draw this against, especially against Super, he probably will be competing against me. You know, he's, he's picking up points now. He probably will be up there towards the end of the season. If I can just get a draw here, it might have pushed me over the line. Come on, a minute to go is such a massive, massive minute for me, I think. As I said, Getting, you know, win the league, probably gone the way Divox playing. Um, especially if I don't win this game, I probably will have no chance. But just to get top three against Super Red here would be massive just to get a draw. So if we just hold on, I won't mind. This game is so unpredictable though. You've always never have any idea where the ball's going to go. Especially like that, when he could go in. Yes, get in there. Wow, what a fucking goal that is. He spams well. All my goals have been lucky. I'd be fucking fuming if I was him. He is fuming. You can tell because Jesus Christ, every single one of my goals has been so lucky. I don't deserve to win this game. I'll happily hold my hands up and say that. I've had four shots and they've all gone in. Yes, 5-3 is a great finish. That is going to be a win for us. We don't deserve it. We don't deserve it at all. A draw probably would have been a fair result. We both had bullshit goals go in. But uh, I think I've got a little bit lucky with this one. It's still not over yet. Don't take me for granted. It's not over yet. Well, 
Maguire's gone. We know he's fought us with the mode. <laughs> as, you can, as you can see, he left us just scored the sick goal there. Um, yeah, he's not been fortunate for him, unfortunately, but massive for us. We really need that. That should be top three secured now. So huge, that is. Massive for my top three hopes. I don't think I'll be winning the title anymore because Kicking King Divock has beat Kicking Pro by one goal. What a game that was between them two. Huge for the title as well. Uh, Arch with some finding some points on the board. He'll get himself off that bottom spot as Harani to lose again. Harani really is in trouble. He needs to win both his final games really to have a chance of staying up. King Divock needs pretty much two more points. One more win and he's won the title. Me and Kicking Pro in that top two. And it's funny you say that because guess who my next opponent is? So here we go, another one of my chosen fixtures. This one against Kicking Pro. And uh, it's one who I actually played, I think, twice last season. Um, including Super League, anyway, um, in this game mode. It was pretty insane that I managed to play against him three times. And I've got him again in this. We obviously had him last season in this mode. I had him in Super League as well in this mode. And uh, it's becoming quite a common occurrence me against him in this game mode. And I think I've won both. However, let's not take the piss because, you know, he's, he's developed massively. We've seen that throughout the league already. Since last season, he's become a way better player. So this isn't going to be easy at all. I just picked it because I know I'd won games against him in the past in this game mode. So I thought I might have myself an easy game, but it won't put out that way. Fuck off. Oh my god, he's picked out the one little gap he had. Literally covered the entire goal, but he's picked out the tiniest little gap. Yeah, he's feeling good apparently. Well I fucking wish you weren't feeling good because I don't I've not had a I've not had a shot yet. I've not had a chance to shoot a goal. It's ridiculous. Oh, we're both Why in the same thing. What have I always said about this game mode and getting the pinches right? It's all you need to do. Get the pinches right and you'll win. So what am I not doing? Getting the fucking pinches right. I, I cannot I cannot get the power or the accuracy at the minute. One of them will do, the accuracy or the power, but I can't fucking get either. I don't know, I'm sure you've seen, air hockey can be a frustrating game mode because you obviously can't hit it in their half. And stuff like this happens where I just have to kind of let the puck come down and shoot maybe because I've not really got any other options. It's going to be a frustrating game because he knows how to defend. He does my saving tactic of just blocking off the angle and it works so fucking well. I don't really know how to get round it to be fair. It's a very difficult thing to do. I just not really hold my head and fall it off. Because I'm having just to defend these continuous waves of attacks here and I can't really do much about trying to score at the minute. It's just continuously going back. And when I get the puck here, when I do finally get an opportunity to bring it down and pinch it, I'm fucking so bad at the pinches. That could go in, please! Oh, it's just a little bit too wide. It's so annoying this because it really can be a massive game going into the end of the season, but fuck me, that was close. Right, I've got fucking 36 seconds to somehow find a goal here. It's not looking likely. See, that, that's just so bad, that. What is that? I'm going to lose this fucking game because I've just not been able to get the pinches right. And it's been such a boring game, this. You've not probably fucking seen too much of it at all. That was unlucky. That was a good opportunity as well. We just need to get some, some luck here and just snatch a draw. Because I can't, I, we're not going to get two. We just need to get fucking one, but we can't do it. Yeah, we've lost. Oh, my fucking God. I can't believe that. 1-0. Fucking 1-0. What a big game this was as well, and we fucking bottled it. So a win would have confirmed my top three status. However, King Divock has won again, and that means he's won the title. And Archers beat Harani, and that means Harani is relegated. So going to this final game is not too much to play for, really. The first is side, the eighth is side, it's just the rest of them. Where's everyone else going to finish? It's a massive game for me, because I now need to win having lost. Uh, I think this tight table is slightly wrong. I think it's Cake and Lee are going to swap places, but one person hasn't played yet and one of them is directly below me so if they beat me they will take my spot in that top three so this last game is massive for me to win it's massive for arch and super as well they need to try and get to have that relegation playoff let's see what happens in this final game 
Right, last game in the season. It's Leon in A's Cube. Obviously, I haven't played Leon yet, as I'm sure he's aware. So, uh, this is the one game that I've got him in. And it's a fucking carnage. This game is absolute bollocks. You've seen all of them. Well, you've seen most of them because the rest of them are in Shield. But you've seen the ones in this, this league so far this season. This one is by far the most fucking AIDS. Despite every go every game of being AIDS, this one is uncomprehendable. You have no idea what's going to happen next to this. Oh my fucking god. I can't be doing that. Oh, for fuck's sake. I need something here. I I've Honestly, there's been no fucking shots. There we go. Oh my fuck. Nah. Nah. Don't piss me off, game. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. This game can get fucked. What have I just seen? Why am I doing such bad shit in the games I need to fucking win? Absolute bollocks. It couldn't even pop up for me, could it? This is ridiculous. I'm fucking retarded. I'm so retarded. I'm pissing myself off. What the fuck am I doing? Going up for that. On the wall. Fucking Jesus Christ. I'm 3 0 down here. We're getting fucked. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. I don't know how I'm going to get back in this game either because I just don't feel like I can. Oh my fucking God. Wow. <laughs> what a fluke. But we'll take it. We needed a bit of fucking luck to get back in this. Even <laughs> it's confused. <laughs> what even did happen? Oh my God. That is so fucking fluky. We needed that though. Yeah, another good finish. We can come back here. We've got a minute and 39 to get one more goal. I'll take a draw, to be fair, off the back of this, even though I probably fucking need a win. What a strike that is, by the way. Oh my God, what a goal that is. I know he probably should have saved it, but what a fucking strike. It was timed so well. The power on it. Fuck me, the boost taking it past the cube, but we needed that goal. Come on, we've got 30 seconds to bring this back. What a combat this would be. And we have. We've fucking done it. We've <laughs> How have we gone back from this? Incredible. This shows goes to show these has his reaction. Goes to show these game modes never fucking give up because anything can happen. We're 25 seconds away, albeit we don't bottle it for an incredible comeback. No, where's that bouncing? Where's that gone? Oh, it's hit the floor. Thank God. I thought that last second demo would kill me. How have I won that game? 3 0 down and come back to win. Incredible. So let's see what happened in these final results. I obviously secured my top three spot with a win. King Divot beat Mike K to go 7 out of 7. Harani lost to go 0 out of 7. And Arch got battered by Super. This is going to be very, very funny to look at. And once you see the table, Super Ed is in an absolute world of trouble. And I'd be fuming if I was him reading this. Because as you can see, he was one goal scored off a fifth spot. Leon just about stayed out of that relegation playoff because of the extra goal that he scored over Super Red. Same goal difference, but he scored one more goal. So we say goodbye to Harani, he'll be going down to Shield. Super Red and Arch will be battling out in the relegation playoffs. Can't be Super Red's in there. But uh, they'll be battling out in the Shield bids. Check that out. Mate Cake and Leon obviously stay in the league. Myself, Kicking Pro, Kicking Devil will be in Super League, but Kingdom has all obviously won the title. The second season running, he won it last season as well. I'm really starting to get sick and tired of him. I can't let him win Super League. I cannot let him do a double and let him start picking fixtures because no one's ever going to fucking beat him. Don't forget, I picked three fixtures this season and still fucking lost. But uh, that clearly wasn't good enough. Was it? <laughs> I need to do better next season. Um, obviously, next will be Shield and Super League coming up after what you've watched this in the Premier. If not, go check the other two out. They are very interesting. See what else happened in the playoffs and also what happened in the top, obviously, the Super League battles. Um, and yeah, I guess there's, there's more continuation of the league. It's going to get more interesting in them videos as well. So go and watch that. You'll see who will be promoted, who will be relegated, and who will win the Super League title in the future videos. So stick around for them. If not, I will see you in the next one.